apple are one of our most popular orchard fruit in Kentucky, but they are at constant risk from disease. In fact, our number one threat is a bacterial disease called fire blight. The most devastating thing about fire blight is that it can cause severe damage in a very short period of time. The pathogen favors wet conditions, so risk increases as spring rains persist. There are three different phases of fire blight. The earliest is called blossom blight. Infections usually spread from blossom to blossom, usually by rain or by bees. Symptoms include blossom collapse, and as infection spread, entire spurs suddenly die and wilt. Infection then spreads down spurs into branches, resulting in the second phase of fire blight disease, canker development. Cankers begin as sunken lesions with dark brown or purple coloring. As cankers enlarge, bark takes on an onion skin peel and entire branches or stems die. The third phase of fire blight disease is shoot blight. During rainy weather, bacterial cells can infect actively growing, tender young shoots. Blighted branches wilt from the tip and develop a crook or bend at the growing point. This symptom is often called shepherd's crook. Knowing a little about the life cycle of the fire blight bacteria makes the disease easier to understand. The pathogen survives from one year to the next in cankers. In spring, as temperatures approach 65 to 70 degrees, the bacterium begins to multiply. At 70 degrees, numbers of bacterial cells double every 20 minutes, and one cell can become one billion cells overnight, each capable of causing a new infection. This warm, wet period usually occurs right about the time that apple trees begin to blossom. Bacterial cells that overwinter in cankers infect blossoms during early spring, and then resulting cells that multiply in blossoms go on to infect newly emerging shoots. Management of fire blight disease requires an integrated approach in order to reduce multiplication of these infective cells. This is accomplished by combining cultural practices with antibiotic bactericides. A grower's first line of defense is selection of apple cultivars and rootstocks that are resistant to infections. Next, timely application of bactericides is critical. Plants should be protected when the bacterial pathogen is most active and plants are most susceptible. So, when spring weather stays rainy for long periods of time, risk for fire blight increases tremendously. The University of Kentucky College of Agriculture and the Department of Plant Pathology have an assortment of disease management publications available for both commercial growers and homeowners alike. So contact your local county agent for more information.